This video is a little different. Uh, it's not like my normal videos. This is in this video we're gonna teach you how to build a tall bike. Uh, we're gonna go through prep, welding, assembly, beauty, and it'll be pretty easy. Three welds. One, two, three. First weld at the at the top mic. Gonna be right here between the forks and this new piece we're gonna fab. Second weld is gonna be between this new piece and the bottom bike. Third, we're gonna join the bottom bracket to the top of the seat tube of the other bike. So the hardest part about making a tall bike is frame selection. You wanna make sure your head tubes line up, and once your head tubes line up, you wanna make sure your bottom bracket is kind of over your rear seat right here to where they line up. And then you want your seat to be in front of the rear axle. That way you're not doing wheelies, because if your weight is over the rear wheel, you just be back here, and all the weights up front, and pull it right back. You don't want to do wheelies because it's not fun to ride tall like doing wheelies. Here are two donor bikes. Um, you want to make sure they're both steel because that's a lot easier to weld. And I'll show you a quick trip. If you take a magnet and it sticks to it, it's steel, not aluminum. When our head tubes line up, we'll be near the seat stay. And it looks like we'll still be over the rear axle. This is going to be a good little pair. This frame on the bottom is a lot bigger than this one, so that's what kind of gives us that advantage. So we're going to start with our top frame. We're going to chop the rear end off and chop the fork tubes off. I like to keep my forks intact. I like to keep the head tube intact and just weld a pipe in between the fork and the fork. Alright, so next I'm just going to prep it to be welded and I'm just going to grind up all the paint on the bottom. We've got the rear end chopped off, we got the forks chopped off. All I'm keeping intact is this triangle here, cranks, seat post, and uh, bars up here. This frame is prepped and ready to be welded on. So let's move on to this one. As I mentioned before, if we take our magnet and we press it against something and it doesn't stick, it's aluminum. So this is not going to weld. This however is steel and will weld up. So that's actually perfect. We have no issues there anymore. Audio. I can't clap anymore. Ah, I can't even walk anymore. It's kind of tragic. I don't even like this. Alright, let's go to the hardware store. He just stared at your camera and I was like, nah. I need something like, uh... I can make that work. So what I've done here is I've put our piece of metal that we're gonna connect these two pieces together with and I've aligned them with the front head tube to figure out where this bottom bracket needs to sit in order to get a straight shot. And as it sits, I see that I need to cut some of this out so I can move the front frame forward a little bit because it needs to sit flush with that one right there so probably like right there so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this little lip off go ahead. when the bottom bracket sits in here it doesn't meet this one properly so I'm gonna cut a little bit of this out so now we're lined up in the rear and we're lined up in the front so now I need a mark where I need to cut my centerpiece centerpiece is gonna be the the part that connects this frame to this frame via the forks. Looks like we need 14 and 1 over 3 quarters. Should be that Galvanize, you should grind off the galvanization before you weld on it because it's bad for you or something like that, so I always do it. It's going to sit something like that, um, and I'll show you where to start. So we're going to do this weld first, then this weld, then the rear, and I'll, I'll show you why as we go. Safety forced. What? You're wearing gloves? First thing I'm going to do is make a little tack on this side and a little tack on this side, and then I'll make sure it's straight before I make the whole weld.
That's great. That actually looks good. This is why we do this one first. You can see if this one is straight. And once it's straight, weld it up. When you butcher your welds like me, just grind them out and make them into happy accidents. All right, that's good. Let's do the next part. Okay. Now we weld this. Get this straight because this is only going to happen once. Da -da this is definitely the hardest weld to make and what I usually do is just try and build up as much weld as I can and just make a big blob just whatever holds it. With these sprays, it's easy to push, punch through it because it's so thin. So you just gotta be careful. Oh, let's see how this works. Look at those reflexes. Did you know that Steve wouldn't have died if he would have used sunblock? Because you know it helps get rid of the harmful rays. Mm. Helps block up the harmful rays. Gotcha. So what we've done so far, made our three welds, one, two, and three. We're gonna put the wheels on, put the chain on, be ready to ride. Easy. Feels pretty good. Yeah. Feels good. I'm definitely gonna put different bars on it. Let's see if we can't put a, throw a chain on it and uh, make it roll. So I bought two chains. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this master link and put these two together like this. We're gonna put this cap on and put this together. So then we'll have one really long chain. Alright, I'll show you the next step. Okay, now we're going to take our big long chain that we just made and wrap it around the chain ring. Now I'm going to break the chain. If you want a more detailed video on chain breaking, I'll make one. But all I'm really going to do is take this little link out right here. Pop it out. I'm going to connect it with this chain over here. Now let's press that in and it will be good to go. So the chain is too loose and you can't really adjust it so we're going to have to change the sprocket size to make it work. But uh, for now let's just try it out. Another pro tip is if you're trying to get your paint off, aircraft grade paint remover. I sprayed a little bit right here five minutes ago peels right off. So, not a great thing. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Send us money though. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, this is the best way to build a tall bike. Um, in some future videos, we'll probably do some races with the tall bikes. We'll take them in fun places. So, just uh, be on the lookout for that. Love you.